what's going on? I'm Allison. For today's workout, we're going to work total body and have some fun and use a variety of fitness toys. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap that subscribe button and the bell to stay notified of the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. For this workout, you'll need a stability ball, a loop band, whether it's fabric or rubber, a moderate pair of weights, and a mat. We'll be completing three blocks for two rounds. Round one will be 45 seconds on with a 30 second rest. Round two will be 30 seconds on and a 15 second rest. This workout does include a warm up and cool down, so make sure to stick around to the end for a nice stretch. So grab your equipment and some water and let's get started. Let's go ahead and warm it up. Grab your stability ball and give me a nice light march in place. So for the ball, it's actually gonna warm up our upper body a little bit more because when you squeeze it, it should give in just a little bit, but it's also getting those shoulders, chest, and arms going. So anytime you hold it, give it a little squeeze. Abs are tight, spine is long. Now keep the march, we're gonna push the ball out and up. Out, press up, good. So getting the upper body warm, and with the march, we're gradually bringing the heart rate up. Good, squeeze. The more you can press the ball in, the more you're gonna feel it. You're doing great, about 10 more seconds like this. Whew. All right, we're gonna start by just holding the ball and then changing the legs. Hold the ball, step, touch the feet. So get the legs down first, and then we'll incorporate upper body. So if you can see, my heels are down, knees are soft. Perfect. All right, for the ball, we're gonna swoop it down and up. Lift, there you go. Now if you don't wanna use your ball during the swarm up, don't feel like you have to. You can definitely do all of this without. Start to make it a little bit bigger as you get more warmed. Breathe. Whew, keep it up for eight, seven, six. Now, if you have room, watch me. I'm gonna take it to doubles and add a little circle with the arms. Doubles. Up, good. If you don't have the space, stay with singles, like what we're doing. Again, squeezing that ball just a little more. Breathe. Four, three, can we put those together from the top with those marches? March it, push out and up, out. And up, good. Core's tight, squeeze that ball. Woo. Eight, seven, six, up on deck. Step touches, low swing. Try right here. Step, swing, swing, make it bigger. Yes. Eight more. In eight, you're either gonna stay here, or if you have room, we're gonna double with the little circle arms. Here we go, double up, double up. Lift and back. Beautiful transition. Woo! Keep it going. Four. Coming up. We're gonna do the legs first and do some hamstring curls. Just hold your ball. Hamstrings, hang on to your ball. All right, I'm gonna turn back so you can see my legs. So all we're doing is doing a quarter half squat, taking those heels all the way up to the hips. All right, so stay there. Adding upper body. Press diagonally. Up, press, press. Good, so you're um, pressing opposite the direction of the leg that's kicking up. Good. Woo. All right, we're gonna double these up. Get ready. Doubles for two. Two to the left, two to the right. Do it again. Take it up. Here's that side view so you can see. Doubles. Excellent. Back to singles for eight. Okay. Let's go ahead and add this in from the top. Notice what we're doing? We're layering. March it out, just hold it here. All right, so back from the top, marches out and up with the arms. We'll add those hamstrings at the end. Bigger march, press out and up. Go, out, and press. Woo, how are we feeling? <laughs> Upper body starting to feel a little bit more. Keep squeezing. All right, coming up, step touches. Let's go, step touch and swoop it. Step, lift. Lift, bigger. Yeah. Woo, eight more. All right, you know it. If you have the room, we're gonna double these up with the circle arms. Let's go, double up, double up. Lift, back. Lift, back, good. Breathe. Heels are down, knees soft. Four, three, in two. Hamstring curls, press diagonal. Good job. Coming up. 
in eight, seven, six. Those doubles are heading your way. Let's double it up for two. Two to the left, two to the right. Again, take it up. Awesome. Four more. Here's four, three, and two. Good, march out easy, so reset. Okay, take those feet out wide. We're gonna do a little pendulum with the legs. Just holding your ball out of thigh side to side. Step, step. So notice I'm slowing this down just a little bit. Soft knees pushing off at the heels. Push forward, push forward. Good. Whew. As you start to progress, you can sink back a little bit lower. Maybe a quarter squat, half squat at most. Press. Eight, seven, and six. Good. Here's four. Now from this outer thigh, we're gonna take it to heel digs on the floor. Looks like this. Step, heel, heel. So there's the legs. Figure it with the arms. Let me get that rhythm. There we go. Figure eight, figure eight. Getting a little hamstring stretch. Woo. Keep it up. Breathe. All right, so those are our last two pieces. We're adding on to this warm up. Sound good? In four. Back from the top, marches out and up. Four, three, two, march it. Out and up, right to it. Out and up. Out and up. Good. Eight more. Coming up in eight. Now it's next. Single step touches, low arm swoop. Here we go, try it here. Step, lift, lift. Make it big. Four, three, doubles. Up, circle. Up, circle. These are definitely shorter, you ready? Right to your hamstrings, press diagonal. Boom, press, yes. Stay here, stay here. Woo, eight more. There's eight, seven. Coming your way. We're gonna double these for two, you ready? Double up right here. Two left, two right. Do it again, doubles, press out. Beautiful, four more. Here's four. All right, those last two parts we did. Outer thighs, ready? Outer thighs, slow it down a little bit. Out, press. Keep it with those presses. Good, abs are in. Eight more seconds. Now we're gonna finish with those heel digs. Four, three, heel dig at figure eight. Heel, heel. Bring that up to tempo a little. Woo! This is it. Last eight. Excellent work. Four, three, nice and easy march. Oh, good. Heart rate's up a bit. Give me a tiny little sweat. All right, set that ball down. Set those feet a little wider than the shoulder apart. Nice and easy, just side to side lunges. Passing the ball to the hands. Toes, knees, and hips are forward. In through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let the heart rate drop down just a little bit. Three, two, you're gonna hold the next one in the center. Hands on top, walk it out. Inhale, exhale, pull the belly button, spine round the back, wiggle it out if you need to. Slowly round to stand, and one last time. Inhale, exhale, push that ball away. Pull the belly button in and then slowly walk the ball back towards you. Let go for a moment, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale out one more time, feet together on the toes, reach. And let it out, good job. Take a moment, grab a drink, grab your equipment, bring it close by, and let's get started with block number one. Here's your first move in block number one. Grab your weight and place your loop band around the lower part of your thighs. We're doing a set of squat thrusts. Now when you have the band around the legs, you're gonna feel that resistance when you press those knees out, press the legs out. And that's the point. It's gonna target a little more outer thighs and glutes. All right, so feet butt shoulder width apart, toes and knees forward, press those knees out best you can. Rack the weights up, palms face in. Inhale, sink back like you're into a chair. Exhale, drive those arms up, squeeze the glutes on top, keep the knees soft, and then do it again. Inhale, exhale, press up. If you need to modify this, shorten the range of motion, and do alternating arms instead.
more cardio. I keep the band exactly where it's at and placing the weights down. We're doing alternating quick tap backs. Now for these tap backs, we're gonna tap back, tap back. So you can do short range of motion. If you're feeling good, you can add some arms and make it a little bit bigger. Keep the knees soft, hips and shoulders square to the front, and breathe. Number one, we're using the ball and your weights and doing a set of reverse flies. Now for this ball, I'm going to place my body over the top so it's in a comfortable position. Shoulder blades are off the ball. Toes are digging into the ground. Now if you need a little bit more stability, bend those knees more. Palms are facing in, right in front of the ball. Exhale, reverse fly, and then bring it down. If you need to, do alternating arms instead. Oh,
Here's your first movement block number two. Starting off, you'll need one dumbbell and place your band around your thighs. We're doing alternating reverse lunges with a cross chop. So give yourself a little bit of room behind, extend those arms up, abs are tight. We're going to step back for the reverse lunge, cross over to the outside of the front leg, come up, and then reverse, go the other way. do your cardio. Keeping your band right where it's at, grab your ball. We're doing a lateral tap out with a ball press out. Remember in the warm up I told you every time you hold the ball, squeeze it? I really want you to do it this time, right now, so you can get some upper body. Take that ball, squeeze it, feel your pecs, feel your shoulders tighten up, and then add that press out. you'll need your weights and your ball. We're doing upper body and combining chest flies with skull crushers. Go ahead into a lined up position so your head and shoulders are relaxed on the ball, hips are lifted. Once you're here, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, tighten the abs. Arms are up, we're performing. One chest fly, bring the arms up, palms facing in, and then skull crusher. Arms are staying parallel to each other. Inhale, exhale, and then press. back to a standing position with your weights and your band around your legs. We're combining a Romanian deadlift to squat. Now since we're going into a squat, I'm gonna take those legs just a little bit wider than a traditional Romanian deadlift, but you're gonna feel that resistance against the band. Knees are, sat, knees are soft, back is flat, abs in. Perform your deadlift, come up, rack your weights, sink down for the squat, and then repeat again. Inhale, exhale.
exercise, we're combining a push-up and a knee tuck. Using just your ball, we're gonna roll our body prone position over the ball, and if you have it closer to your hips and your knees, it's gonna be a little bit easier. If you'd like more challenging, closer to your ankles. Once you're in a position that you like, keep the core tight, squeeze the glutes, perform your push-up, chest down to the ground, and then curl those knees into the chest and repeat again. Inhale, exhale, press. with your heels on top of the ball. We're gonna do a set of hip thrusts. Keep that band around the legs, heels and your ankles and the lower part of your calf are on the ball. Engage the core, look up at the ceiling. Lift up, we're gonna curl in, extend, drop the hips. And do it again, up, curl, out, and lower. If you're not feeling that hip lift, go ahead and just curl those knees in and out while pressing against the band. to this. Hips are staying down. Inhale, exhale, let's curl in and then extend out. Pressing a little bit against that band and controlling that ball.
with that workout, let's finish off with a nice pull down and stretch. Using your ball, let's have those feet a little wider than the shoulder width apart and rock side to side, shifting that ball from hand to hand. Deep breaths, inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. Very nice. In four, three, whatever side you fall on next, go ahead and hold it over. Hand on top, push forward. Pull the belly button the spine and just kind of round that back. And, and nice and easy, we're gonna drop that toe, turn and face the side wall. Fingertips can stay on the ball for support. Pick up that back heel, inhale, and then exhale, drop down for a nice little hip flexor stretch. Very nice, just breathe. You're just put, um, placing your fingertips on the ball for support. And step it in for the hamstring, step it in, place both hands on top, inhale, exhale, round that ball forward, roll the shoulders. This toe can be up or you can gently bring it down. And nice and easy, come up, face me. Back to those lunges side to side, shifting the ball from hand to hand. You got it in three, two, and then hold it the other way, hands on top, push forward, pop up that toe and round the back. Very nice. And when you're ready, same thing, we'll turn, face the side wall, fingertips on top, pick up that heel, inhale, exhale, drop down for that hip stretch. Good job, just hold the ball for balance. And then this is gonna to transition to the hamstring. So gently bring that back foot in, shift it back. You can pop up the toe, hands on top around the back or a little deeper, drop that toe down. Good job. Keep breathing. And then slowly come on up. Good. Let's go ahead and grab that ball. We're gonna do nice and easy tap and turns. Keep the elbows soft. Good job. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Sending that ball back down. Push it forward, round the back. Place one hand on top, open up the top arm. Look at that hand. Nice stretch for the lower back. And then we'll center up, switch sides. Other hand on, open up that top arm. Good, center up, hands on top, inhale, exhale, slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. Let go of the ball, roll the shoulders back three times. And roll forward. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, do that one last time. Inhale, reach, and let it all out. Good job, you are all done for today. Great job of completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.